Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Evacuation Point Suicidal. And I was watching some chess stuff the other day. And I saw an advertisement for uh, for a chess book. Uh, I think it was an online uh, online course, actually. Um, and with the way they advertised it was... Uh, it was like a minute and a half long. It was the most epic music you can possibly imagine, of course, because, like, <laughs> why not, right? Um, and then, uh... They, uh, they said... So the, 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 like, main marketing point was, um... You can gain 300 ELO points in, uh... In a few months. So, we're, you know... We're gonna kinda qualify... I mean, we're gonna quantify a few months as being three. Because if it were two, they'd be a couple. If it was one, they'd be a. Um, so we're going to go with the minimum here. The most generous view I can do of that. Um, 300 ELO in three months. I've been playing chess at all for a little, like, under two months, I think. Or, like, maybe coming up on three-ish now. It's been two, two, to, two to three-ish months, like, total in my life. That I have ever like, interacted with, with chess to, to any degree. Outside of, like, one game I played as a child. When I didn't even know the rules. Um. And, uh, you know, I started out, I was about 400 ELO. Now I'm, uh, 1100, and I'm still rising. Um, within the next few months, I, I expect to be about 1500, 1600-ish in the next few months. Um, like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, like, a pretty okay chess player. And I'm, I'm getting better just by naturally playing. I haven't, like, watched any lessons, took, read any books or anything like that. And I kind of look at it and I think, okay, so in, in, like, two months that I've been playing, I've gone up 700 ELO points. In three more months, I'll go up probably another 400 or 500, I'm expecting. Um, just just kind of basing it on, like, Northern Lions chess content that I'm watching. He's at, like, 1500, 1600-ish. I don't really honestly think I'm that far behind him um, as, a, as a chess player. I think I make a lot more mistakes, um, but as I kind of like refine those and, and, and kind of flesh them out, I think I'll be able to be like a 1500, 1600 chess player like pretty easily in the next like three months-ish. Um, so, you know, if I take any three month period of when I've been playing chess so far and uh, which is to say, I haven't been playing for three months, or like you know what I what I'm expecting to get anyway without any help from like paying for somebody to teach me. You be dead. Three hundred Elo points really doesn't seem like that much in in three months. You know what I mean? Like, I just and you know the 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 the, the higher you get, the better you are. The harder it is for those to go to to continue to rack up. You know, if I'm like a 1700 player, and they're like, yeah, three months from now you can be 2000, I'd be like, you know what, that's probably, that probably sounds pretty good. Um, I think going from 1700 to 2000 is, is going to be harder than going from 1100 to 1500. Um, just because you're playing against better people, you have to like start doing new things, and um, it's, 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 it's more involved to, to actually like make that happen, right? Of course. Um, but I was just watching, and I'm like, are 1,700 players, like, buying beginner books <laughs> to learn how to play chess? Like, who's who's this made for, and who's the target audience of this advertisement? Like, like really just, like, you're going to be beating all the old people at your, uh, your local tournaments. I'm like, I don't know. Are the old people at my local tournaments, like, international masters? Because, <laughs> like, it, it's only really when you're, you're going from, like, 300 below international master to international master level that I feel like 300 points in, in three months is actually like worthy of being a marketing point. So it was kind of funny as I was watching I'm just like yeah no that just that sounds worse than I'm already doing so <laughs> you know like why would I why would I pay you to do worse than I'm, I'm already expecting of, of myself just from playing chess and not you know, actually getting any formal training. Why would I? Why would I give you money to to <laughs> reduce the effectiveness of just playing chess? 
it feels like the uh, the lesson was just kind of bad. So I found that kind of funny. I'm like, who's it made for? Who's the target audience here? Cause it ain't me. I can t I can tell you that much. It ain't me. That's for that's for dang sure. Um, but it's kind of funny. There was another few chess advertisements up. They're always like the most insanely. Um, now that's bullet time. Like over the top. Careful. You know they got like war and people are riding horses around and. There's all of the, the, you know, they got the cavalry and the infantry, and it's like this this whole thing with the epic, you know, cinematic music over it, and the the, the you know you got the the masters sitting at the chessboard, always with their their chins fitting with their in their in their uh, in their hand with the thumb and the finger, you know, staring intently at the at the chessboard. Like it's the most important thing. Or they'll be sitting in front of a chessboard. Not close enough to it to actually be able to interact with it. They are too far away to reach the chessboard. Um, and they'll be sitting with like, uh, in, in like, uh, you know, the professional casual look. Where you got that, um, like, uh, hands on your knees or like elbows on your knees kind of thing. Leaning forward a little bit. Looking up at the camera. You know that kind of look. There's also there's also that one. It's always it's all it's so funny. It's like the most epic stuff. I'm like it's like I enjoy it. It's a fun game, but come on, let's <laughs> let's get real. At least those ones weren't trying to like sell you elo points. You know, mo most of them are just like we'll teach you how to not blunder and not be stupid. And I'm like, hey, right. you know, at least you're saying you're gonna sell me something good. I'm not buying it because I, I really don't care to. Probably just a whole bunch of people being like, so, uh, you know, if you're uh, going to do this, then you should do this because you're a man. Um, and I'm like, eh, it's probably just all bad. I have a uh, bad history with uh, with chess lessons and stuff like that. I tried to in the past, you know, to, to like, read books and, 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 and take some, like, free lessons and stuff like that. But they just all assume you're a guy. Like, literally, they all assume you're a guy. And I'm like, I'm just not... And uh, I'll uh, I'll be I'll be out. See ya. This cat's back um, in the game. So I just I don't really care to, to actually buy lessons. And besides, I'm getting up to like a, a point that I'm happy with just by playing chess anyway. So why do I need to to buy lessons or anything like that anyway, right? I'm gonna be a, a very competent chess player just from playing chess and learning from my mistakes, analyzing games and. Going over what I could have done bed better, differently, and all that kind of stuff. That's all very valuable stuff, um, and that's kind of what I. Yeah. Come on, come on, get me out of here! Oh, how did we live that, dude? Ooh Should not have lived that. Had no right to live that. Um, but yeah, at least at least they were selling stuff that they could actually like follow through on like when you when your chess advertisement says that you're gonna give me 300 elo points in three months i'm like yeah okay like are you expecting me to be like i don't know M maybe maybe i'm a prodigy <laughs> maybe maybe i'm a prodigious chess player maybe two months and getting up to 1100 is like unheard of um i don't generally speaking like to be uh um of the belief that that i'm special you know I generally like to think that when I do something, I do it at a, a level that is roughly below average. So, which which oftentimes also gets me in trouble because you know they'll be like, "Wow, no, you're like so good. Stop sandbagging." I'm like, I don't know. Like, I just I don't have any context. You know what I mean? Like, I just I don't know what what's normal here. All I know is that I did this. This was easy. I expect other people to also have a good easy time with it. You know, I, I expect that if you if you play chess, you know, every day for two months and like analytically look at your performance and, and what you can do differently and you watch chess content and you, you, you do what I'm doing I, I expect that you're also gonna be about 1100 after two months like I expect that to be fairly normal um, and uh, you know that's true in a lot of things I, I, I expect like I, it comes up all the time with like typing to people with 20,000 races I'm like how do you have that but you can't type like 100 words per minute like, what kind of typing are you doing that, that like, you're not learning and, and, and getting better? 
So I have some semblance of understanding that I'm better at practicing than the average person. I'm better at learning, I guess, than the average person. But I don't think that's because I'm predisposed to be like a, a good learner. I think it's just because like I, I look at things critically and, and try to understand how things work. I ask questions and if nobody can answer it, I, I figure out the answer myself if I can. You know, like that's that's the kind of that's the kind of person I am. And I think a lot of people just kind of stagnate. Um, so I've learned to accept that that I'm generally better at uh, at learning things than other people. But at the same time, I'm just like I don't know, that feels arrogant in itself. Like I don't want to say that, but I think that it's the truth. But I, I feel bad saying it because I'm like I don't I don't think that other people are incapable of doing it. I don't think that I'm special. I just think that like I, I do things I care about and I try hard. You know. Put in, I put in my all to, to learn it. Um, and I don't know, I guess some people don't. So I look at, like I said, like the 20,000 races in Type Racer. And they can't even type like a 100 words per minute or something like that. And I'm like, I just... You're not, you're not trying. Is, is all I can kind of like think about like that with that. And then maybe, you know, a similar thing might be happening with chess. Maybe I'm just good at learning. So I, I naturally have a, uh, well, not never not really naturally. I, I put in the effort and stuff, but maybe I just kind of happen to be the kind of person who's good at learning things, and I learn chess well. Maybe other people are looking at 300 elo points when they're at 700 and being like, "Wow, 700! I can't wait until I get to a thousand." I was like at 700 for like a few weeks, and then it was just pop thousand, and then like I'm still going. I'm 1100 now, and I'm still just climbing. I don't know when I'm going to stop. Um, playing a lot of Bullet lately. And apparently I've given up on not talking about chess. Like, I just I really like chess. I want to talk about it. It makes me feel bad that I can't like stream it. But whatever. Whatever. I don't care. Let people hate. Well, nobody's really going to hate in this series. I don't really, I don't really concern myself with... Uh, Getting people attacking me for like talking about chess in a KF2 video, because like people watching my videos aren't gonna care, um, and no nobody's like finding this because it's chess. I don't put chess in like the titles of videos or whatever, um, often, um, and I, I, I often it comes up and I think maybe this would be a good title, and then I just I don't do it because I'm scared of the the flack I might get for having the opinions that I have about it, um, and. Uh, I don't know, but, 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 like, I just, it makes me feel bad to a certain extent to, to talk about it, but then not talking about it also kind of makes me feel bad, and, like, there's just no winning, so I may as well just take the free content, right? I don't know, it was, it was, a, it was a funny advertisement seeing the, uh, the, like, advertised 300 ELO. I'm just, I, I don't see that, I don't view that as being valuable, so I don't know if it's, uh, if it means that I'm a prodigy, or if it means that, uh, like, the, the reality is, like, the, the likely scenario here is that the, the advertisement's just a bunch of fooey. You know, designs to, to prey on people who don't really care about chess but think they do. You know, people who aren't really putting in time to actually like analyze their games and actually like think about what they could have done differently. People who are just like, I like chess, I play chess, but they don't, they never, they, they like never actually look at what they played and never like think about how they could have done differently, what they could have improved on or whatever. So they never improve because they're never actually trying to improve. So they're like, wow, 300 ELO points in three months? That's incredible. You know, because they just, previously they weren't trying. Um, and I, I believe it's just designed to prey on that kind of um, ignorance, I guess. It's the likely scenario, you know. Like, like I said, I don't, I don't like thinking that I'm, I'm special or unique. That, uh, you know, I, I, I somehow happen to be a, a privileged individual who happens to be good at these things. I do think I'm good at learning things. I don't think I'm the only person who is, though. I think there's a ton of people out there who are good at learning things. But I um, I, I have come to the conclusion fairly recently that, that I think I might be more predisposed to, to learn things. Not naturally, but just... Um, how I've been raised and then how I've kind of grown up. I might be a little bit better at learning things. 
more receptive to new information. Um, Clean up on aisle seven. But uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter, right? It was a funny chess advertisement. They're all funny, though, is the thing. They're all funny. And not funny because they're, like, funny, but funny because they're just so unbelievably stupid. If you haven't seen chess advertisements, just, like, I'm telling you, go, like, Google chess advertisements. Go YouTube it, okay? Go check them out on, uh, on the interwebs, okay? Because <laughs> they're the funniest thing. They, they portray chess as being this, like, epic battle between, uh, you know... The white and black pieces, and like there, there, you know, there's strategy and, and all this kind of stuff involved, and it's kind of simulating some kind of war, and it's used a lot in, um, at least in media, to, to portray war between uh, between two sides, and and uh, kind of have that strategy go. Especially is, is used for that, and in, in a lot of um, uh, Eastern media. Um, but like. Uh, yeah. It, yeah, it's just a game. At the end of the day, you know, like if you master chess, I don't, I don't necessarily think you're gonna be any better at being like the commander of an actual army. I don't think they have any relation, like at all, basically. Well, like th there is a, a certain degree of relation. You know, like there is. I'm I'm fairly certain like it was originally Chaturanga or whatever, and I'm I'm I I believe it if you said that it was based on, you know how wars kind of went down back then as as sort of a simplified representation of of how planning and, and managing a war would go down. I'd believe you if you said that. So uh, I don't I don't think that there's no interaction between war, like you know strategy, and uh, and chess, but like. I, I don't think there's any um, correlation between being good at chess and being good at like managing a war. Um, but they always they always advertise it anyway. It's always this big glorious war with uh, swords. Oh, and the funny thing is, is like they must be the the chess players who are like doing the acting themselves, because uh, they'll like have these fake battles with the. With with uh, with people in like armor and swords and all that, and it just looks so goofy. It must be the people like I'd do it, okay? Like like if if I was the you know if, if I'm like Eric Rosen or whatever, and we have to make a chess advertisement. And they're like, hey, we need somebody to put on a suit of armor and start going at each other with uh, with some you know fake swords. Uh, should we hire somebody or should we just do it ourselves? I'd be like, uh, how about we do it ourselves? It'll look stupid. Yeah, what? Who cares? It's chess players. They're not gonna know. They're gonna be like, wow. Is that Eric Rosen? That's that's all that's gonna happen here, okay? Is that Hikaru? Is he in a suit of armor? Nah, Hikaru's is usually the uh the like sitting in a chair way too far away from a chess table. <laughs> Just looking epic like Do you wanna be like Hikaru? the kind of garbage it's the kind of garbage you get in the chess world in advertising I maybe mean, like marketing everywhere is kind of silly but chess ads are always so funny they always look so stupid so I'm being completely sincere by the way you should go YouTube them and like watch some they're actually like hilarious Especially that stupid Trinity low one. That one just cracks me up. But they, 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 I'm sure there's lots of people out there who are like actually buying it and thinking it's going to actually help them. And I'm sure it actually helps some people. Like if you previously weren't trying, it's probably going to be good. And who knows? Maybe it is advertised for the like 1,700 Elo people. But it really felt like more of a beginner's thing. And I'm like, I don't know if, uh, if there's anything uh, to be said about that. <laughs> you know. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Anywhoozle. I still have to edit my, uh, my stupid Minecraft videos. 
I just, I've been putting it off, okay? I have said it before, I'll say it again, I'll say it as many times as I need to as it comes up. I, uh, I take good care of my, my mental health. I don't, I don't stress myself out over stuff that doesn't really matter. You know? You ask yourself, you know, in three years, is it gonna matter if I uploaded this video today or a week from now? No. The answer is, is a hard no. Will it matter in like three months? No. Will it matter in like three weeks? Maybe. Maybe. But... Probably not. You know, it might matter more once I have uh, a following on the channel, for sure, to, to keep that going. But I don't, so... Really, right now, it's mostly just about getting content out so that I have something to advertise and then to build up that channel. So, ultimately, it doesn't really matter if it's a few weeks late. I, I'd, obviously, I'd like it to be on time. Like, that's, that's the ideal, right? Is it not here? It's the ideal, right, is, is for it to be on time, but, you know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. There's no real negative consequence to it yet. And I'll take that time while I get it now. It has been a little bit tricky to manage, though. I still have to, like, install my stupid 6 terabyte hard drive, too. I haven't done that yet. Like, with how my computer's set up right now, it's just kind of a pain to, like get it open <laughs> um, it's, it's quite quite a pain in the butt to get it open right now with where it is um, it's like not near my computer desk and then where it is is kind of like with all the other junk <laughs> hello it kind of gets stored with um, I call like a little bit of BS on this spawn um, you know where it is it's this kind of hidden amongst dressers and tables and, and all this kind of stuff. So, like, getting it out and then opening it up and setting it all up again afterwards, it's, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Not enough to, to justify, realistically, um, taking as long as I have to, to get the hard drive installed. But enough that uh, I have been. Again, it's not justifiable, but... Okay, we're just nice, clutched... Okay. Um, she's here, she's here, she's here. This should do it. Come on. A little bit, you know, maybe a little bit um, close for comfort. But dang it. I did it. And that deserves at least something, right? Deserves at least something. Deserves some kind of recognition. Is it, uh, it 10,000 dosh again? Is that what we got? No, 9750. Why is it? It's always around 10,000. Not why, because it's all, you know, you get the same amount of Zeds every time. They're probably, it's probably going to be about the same. Um, but anyway. That's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.